All right. Greetings, greetings. So listen, before, before we go any further, of course, we have to do a mic check. We want to make sure that we are audible. So someone please give us a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. We got people I see. Can y'all hear us? All right, Sister Zero gives us the A-OK. -okay. Greetings, peace and blessings. We are the Mohammeds, residential tourists, 85 to Africa, living in the after. And welcome everyone. Uh, it, seem, it seems like it's been a long time. We just, we didn't, we didn't miss last week, but we missed last week. So it seems like it's been mm -hmm. a minute. Uh, but it, it hasn't been that long. It's only been a week. We got a lot of people saying hello. All right. Well, let's give it to them. Let's give it right back to them. Uh, we got Bala Malachi is on the day. Well, let's start at the top. Where we at? Where we at? Let's see. Let's um, see. A one day. A one day. Wa alaikum salam. A one day. Sister Cheryl is on. Greetings to you, Sister Cheryl. Loom Will. Loom Will. That's a new one for us, I think. You know, she said, or oh, he, hey, hey, nice to catch you live today. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank Lungu, you, are you a ma'am or a madam or a sir? A sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, Liz on. Sister Liz, why? Lake Salam, Sister Liz. Kenneth Frederick. I think he was the first one on, really. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Brother Kenneth, good to see you, brother. Brother Gerald, good to see you as well. Mm -hmm. Brother James, good to see you, brother. Okay. And Aquarius, Aquarius Gold, Gold, thumbs up for the for the sound, the mic check. Our beloved sister Kanaya. Yep. Humphrey Aguabi. Yes, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Good stuff, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, and Zahara. Musa, Musa. Let me see, Maria. 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 Neke Musa. Neke Musa. I'm trying to, you know, get our, you know, linguistics on. So we don't mean to offend if we mispronounce. We're just practicing. Brother Malachi, FOI. Salam alaikum, brother. And Zahada, wa alaikum salam to you. Okay, so I guess it's befitting. I know um, for those, I see quite a few Muslims. <laughs> so, of course, Ramadan Mubarak, and we pray that your Ramadan has been successful uh, up until this point, even if it's just of good and well intent. Uh, so I hope you are receiving all the best from your Ramadan. Truly, truly, truly. All right. So what we got, baby? Boy, we were busy, busy, busy this week. <laughs> Crazy busy. Um, the man got sick. I did, man. Whew. Got sick. But one of the cool things that we have done since we've been here, we have established a resident doctor, um, Dr. Nelly. Hold on, stop for a second. Let's do this. This, is, this, requires, this requires something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's good news. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good news. Thank you, Loon Will. And then see, that's how you start the day off. Right. You just made me smile. All right. It's she, rent time. If she's smiling, I'm smiling. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you got Brother John Dooley on today. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome. Yep. So we, um, we have a residential doctor. We in, introduced to everyone at our event over this past weekend, but we actually had the opportunity to utilize our services this week. <laughs> it wasn't um, in the plan, but it, mm -hmm. it's good to know we could, you know, that we were able to take yeah. advantage of that. Yep. <clears throat> Within a couple hours, she came to the house, made her assessment, um, and got, we just got everything started on the way. As you can tell, he's better and I'm sick. At 100 percent still yeah, little, little, little. i'm sure halfway through i'm be gonna be doing some gross stuff <laughs> and I, we apologize in I, advance i'm able to use a eat a cough drop <laughs> see but it'll get grosser than that y'all just bear with them just bear with them so we do have the residential doctor on staff now particularly for the expats we don't like going to the doctors hate going to the hospitals um, those type of situations when you come to Africa is a little, uh, it's a little different. Different. It That's could all. be stressful. It could be mind blowing. It's easier mm. when you can just call that residential doctor up, and she come on, do what she need to do, get blood work done, make the labs, 
get your medicine, check your vitals, whatever it is. Now we have that here in Kenya within this network. It, 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 when we were in Rwanda, that was that it was perfect. Man. Yeah, it was yeah. really perfect. I, and I think he's still circulating. Oh, of um, course, I My hope so. Still there. But yeah, he's still circulating. It just makes life a lot better. It really a lot does. easier. It does. It you know. Does. Um, and so we were able to kick off last weekend with the big event, y'all. And it was mind blowing. And you do we don't have any more news? We do. Okay, so let's let's not dive in. Let's give them the appetite. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> so but because of the event, connections were made. And in that connections, we now have the opportunity to use our voice and try to make things easier for expats when they're coming to relocate just to have things put in place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we are working on getting a particular bank that will pretty much make it easier for expats to do banking with them, but also to pretty much tailor towards the needs because our needs are a little bit different. And when you're not a um, actual citizen in a country, banking looks a little different for you. So we're we're putting something together like that with one of the contract um, one of the leads that came out of our event. Um, what 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 else? Oh my goodness! So many people came in last week. Um, a lot of them came through the relocation services, which was amazing mm -hmm. to see. Literally to see hard work put the the results of it. Mm -hmm. So we had. Um, Oh, we we can't show that video, huh? Which video? Of of Nikki and them um, and moving and in, coming into their house. Uh, the you'll see it service. not on this live though. You know, all this week it's a bunch of content and much material because, like my wife said, we were really busy, um, and it's a lot of material, a lot of content, and it was it's we're excited to be able to share it. So, stay tuned. That won't be a live, but they'll be scheduled. So hopefully, a short video showing. Our latest clients, her and her husband came in. It's a young, beautiful couple with the most amazing daughter. You guys will see her a little later on. The most amazing, fearless daughter who fits right in with Africa. Like her whole energy, her fearlessness, her demanding to, to do whatever, she, she got it. But we did our first, um, here in Nairobi, our first relocation service um, cut client. And I think it went pretty well. I was pretty pleased with it. Mm -hmm. um, we surprised her with a completed nursery because uh, she's pregnant. So we um, tried to surprise her with a beautiful nursery. Um, I think they was kind of surprised, but I know the baby liked it. The baby loved it. She was, a, she, she was, she fell right in. It was, mm -hmm. she, she's just a beautiful. Both they yeah they're all just a, just a beautiful family. For yeah. Sure. Just, uh, Wanda wants to know what the, what the doctor's name. The is. doctor name is Doctor Nelly. She's in Karen. Mm -hmm. She's in Karen. She's um she's a local. She's a Kenyan doctor. She's gotten I think she did some um, schooling in this was it the states or I'm not sure. Forgot where she went to college at, but she's a local doctor. She's thorough. Mm -hmm. Um, and she's patient. And she she just got it done. She got it done. She came as a referral from another expat that used her. Him and him and his wife used her. Um, they love her. She's part of their family now. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much was like, okay, well, we want to stick with referrals that other expats have used, so we can know what to expect. Right. No <clears throat> surprises. <clears throat> um. So we we did do that. We had our new our new person come in with the relocation services. We had a lot of people come in just for the event or just to do their own scouting. Um, I'm hoping they don't mind. We want to shout them out, shout them out, um, because they came right out of out of right out of the subscribers. As y'all guys will see, Carlos is on there. Carlos Ortez. <laughs> Yo, he's, he, he makes he's, sure he makes his mark. Man, he's so animated in a very good way. His energy, his yeah. spirit. From day one, from the moment we met him, it was prior to the uh, the meet and greet affair. I mean, he's just a, and he's genuine. Uh, so it's I mean, it's just a joy just to sit back and watch my brother. Mm -hmm. 
Um, also, um, John Dooley, he was there. He was, John Dooley was from Rhonda. He was over in Rhonda with us and they have since moved or relocated to Kenya and him and his wife. No, that's not, right. no, you're thinking about John. What? Or oh, maybe, maybe you're that right. Is it is John. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Carry on. My apologies. <laughs> right, John? <laughs> But um, Andre was there. Y'all will see Andre. <laughs> he he did come and grace us with his presence. Thank you, Brother James. Appreciate that there, brother. Thank you, Brother James. Thank you so much. The lights will stay on. <laughs> um, who else was there off of here? Nikki and her husband, Alfred, was there. Um, even Evans and Kenya, they were there. Um, it's funny because you get a lot of YouTubers, they don't say anything on your videos. But when you meet them, they're like, yeah, I've been watching your videos. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, right. And they start reciting which videos they've seen. And I'm like, okay, okay, you do better than me because I can't say I can't say the same. We look forward, but, uh, we look forward to meeting you as well, Sister Liz, in August. And it'll be here before you know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony Africa was there. Um, and he had a yeah. good time. It's really refreshing to see my brother Tony, mm -hmm. brother John, brother all of the brothers, man. It was just really a good, it was really good. Really, really good. Yeah, there were some other people. I don't know their name on YouTube on here, but there was other people that came fresh off the channel. And that was amazing. And we were able to put the call out, bring everyone in that, you know, that was coming in and just network. Let people understand that we're here. We're not going nowhere. We're family now. And so it kind of calms the nerves of feeling like you're going to be alone or you got to try to figure this thing out by yourself. We had all kinds of, um, of, of what do you call them, vendors? Um, uh, yeah, they were vendors. They were vendors they were, they were, or they were there to help guide with immigration. They were there to help guide with legal. They were there to help guide with banking. They were there to help guide with um, medical. So, and, and we want to continue this, continue this dialogue, continue this networking type of situation. So when you guys come, you have the tools that you need. And we're hoping that other expats and other countries, especially in Africa, will do the same to stop competing against each other, to stop tearing each other down, stop trying to stay away from each other and build a community like they do like they do everywhere else. Mm -hmm. We're just the only ones that don't know how to do that. Shout out to Just Do. Coming, what's what's coming, a Just Do? Just Do said it's coming our way soon. We got the tickets. We're going to shout, shoot us an email today. Or we'll, we'll be on standby and looking out for that. Come on, Just Do. Let's and, let's get, get that in here. And then, and then we have, uh, where is Look it? Look at Charles in Africa. It said Cape Town. Cape Town was wait, in the house listening. Wait, my brother's on. Uh, my it's brother. about to rain, y'all. <laughs> brother Dre. Salam alaikum. Good to, see, good to see you in the place, brother. <laughs> but Charles in Africa, FOI and Rhonda, I want to personally thank you for introducing Kigali to me. I absolutely love it. That's my spot for the future. Brother Charles, salute to you, brother. So you so you in Rwanda, man. Man, I'm glad I'm glad you're on the continent, brother. All right. Well, you need to come over by the end of the month for our next event so we can know who you are. Yes. John yes, Dooley yes. said, when will the banking connection be ready for expats? We're working on it now. We had a meeting a couple of days ago. We're supposed to have a meeting this week. And then come next live, hopefully we've got good news as we're putting together not just basic banking, but something major. If it goes through, y'all going to be so proud of us. So, you know, it's, it's these efforts that we are, you know, embarking on, it's not, it's not for vanity. Is definitely with the mind. Go ahead. Excuse me, y'all. I'm cooking. <laughs> Mr. Spaston. And I'm just trying to, you know, eat a good advice. It's not, it's not, it's not for vanity. It's definitely, you know, with, with purpose. Um, you know, without me saying, it's very significant for us to be able to establish a strong network, uh, not just for social purposes, but of course, social purposes as well, but for business. When I say business, meaning things that we need to sustain and uh, sustain ourselves and maintain ourselves here on the continent. And, you know, it's it's nothing different as if we were back in the States that we tried to bring ourselves together at a unified front. Uh, and it's much the same while we're here on the continent, even probably more so. And 
you know, we're learning that they're not really, they know when I say they, meaning, you know, a lot of the businesses, corporate businesses in Kenya, the banking, the health and all of that stuff there, they don't really, they're, they're slowly but surely coming upon the understanding that, wow, this, this diaspora thing is, is, is something that we need to really, really, really pay attention to. And even just dealing with and working with, um, with Edwin, he's, man, we shout out to Edwin, brother. Edwin, yeah. Edwin is a beautiful brother, man. He's a Kenyan local. And Thank he, you, Elizabeth. And he's, uh, man, he just really, really, he's, he's out there. He's there for us. When I say us, he I is. mean the diasporas and he's right in step, but being around him and listening to him and learning from him that they are beginning to realize and see that, you know, the diaspora community is a, is the community that a lot of these institutions and corporations need to really, really hone in on. And I say that to say that as we move forward, the way we are approaching, we're approaching it to where these are our needs and your policies are your policies. We don't want to, you know, however, our needs are a bit unique. So, we would hope that you could probably meet us where we are and they're open yeah because we you, you know we've, we've advised you guys before don't close out your bank accounts in the states um put it in somewhere that's more secure blah 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 but imagine if these banks said no we will offer you higher interest or on your return if you put some money in our savings account and everyone was to put some money in a savings account over here and some money keep it in the US or whatever you want to you want to have different avenues in case something happened you're not flat you're not just out of luck you know what i'm saying and so we're talking with this with uh, this bank in particular so that we can try to get some things in place compatible to what we're used to but even even more as an incentive to actually pull out of the banks over there and to put some of your money in this banks and i always say some Cause you don't want to dump all your all your coins in one basket, like my grandmother would say. Put your, all your eggs in one basket. Okay, all your eggs, coins, I'm, I'm whatever it is. Eggs, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the issue is you need to have a residential permit to attain a bank account. That that was the issue for other banks, but we've actually heard him say something a little different. We'll have all this all that um type of information available, but on the same note. Why not just get a residency? We got Edwin. Edwin is over Trevita. Um, he's over the immigrant <coughs> bank. That's all they do is immigration all day. Even if you're dealing with business permits, taxes, anything that got to do with getting you here stable and legal, Edwin's the guy. And we need to have him on the show. We shall. Yeah. We shall have him if he would, if he would accept. You know. But he's he's a he's a jewel. He is, and he's he he wants us to be successful. He's a local. He sounds like Mufasa. He says, "Adila, <laughs> when do we want to have the expat event?" <laughs> Edwin sponsored our last event. If y'all seen this big giant facility, you will see that the the majority of the cost, Edwin took care of that. And he's like, mm -mm, "I see the value in this. I see the value right. in you guys coming, um, even out of there's so many people." There's so many people that came that's from the channel that have already reached out to Edwin and they haven't even, I don't even know about it. He tells me and I'm like, okay, good. So, and you know what's, what was interesting, you know, as we debriefed afterwards, learning that, I mean, it was, alhamdulillah, it was a, it was a great success, extremely smooth. The energy was so pure, the uh, participants, the attendees, the facility, you know, folk, everything just gelled so, so well. And we're very humbly grateful uh, that it was, you know, so, so smooth as such. Um, but the interesting thing was that among some of the vendors, even the facility for that matter, they were hopeful and they were positive, but they really didn't expect it to be the way that it turned out. And so after the fact, from those that were a, a part of it, like Edwin and 
some other individuals. I don't want to say their names. I don't think they're keen on that. But they were saying how out of their own mouths, these these representatives of these different corporates, they said, wow, I, I really didn't think it was going to turn out this way. I would have maybe prepared even more. Mm-hmm. But they said after that, the next one, we're all in. They're like, we're all in. I mean, let's say all men, and I'm not talking about just being there presently. I'm talking about with some nice backing. Putting their just money leave, where I, their mouth is. Just leave it right there. So that was a very good um, indication, you know, that, you know, something was done right. So we're hoping to be able to continue onward and move forward. And again, <laughs> not, not for vanity, but all with, with, with well-intended purpose to make sure that those of us who are here um, are able to receive what we need to sustain ourselves and to maintain and to just have a, because we, we we didn't come here to struggle. We didn't come here to have stress or anything like that. So let's just meet it at the door. Let's just get rid of it at the door. Mm-hmm. Let's just knock it out the way so that we can just have a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience living on this beautiful continent in this beautiful country. So chat lives matter. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bot or not, but it said, why should we trust banks in Kenya? Stick around. We're not going to go into it right now. You stick around. Hang on in there. You just see the fire right here. I'm no, about I to know. Let, I know. I'm about to... It's okay. Just stick Where's around. Natasha? This is what we are moving Sister toward. Cheryl? We're moving. <laughs> Sandra got voice. <laughs> Who are y'all at? <laughs> We're moving toward being able to, to gain that trust or receive that, whatever. And this is, we don't want to give everything on at one time because we can't. We really can't. So we have to move slowly but surely toward this and just stick around. You'll you'll come to see it to know. Inshallah, God willing, you'll come to know uh, why um, we should put at least a little bit of trust, mm-hmm. you know, in, in, in the banking system. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, all right. Where we at? So let's show them a snippet or how we want to start it. Okay. So, yeah, let's do that. So... Let me show here. You know, I think I like to think, you know, from this point, you know, my wife pretty much kind of set a good tone for uh, as we move through that particular day. But my brother said he was watching it uh-huh. and then he heard my voice crack. So he thought I was going to get emotional. So he turned it off. Well, yeah, she did get emotional. I didn't. She got it. She got it. She pulled it together, though. It was allergies. We're outside. She has no allergies. I was in the land of my people. <laughs> But uh, hopefully he don't click off of it now. But no, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's so <laughs> sorry. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we got. And I'm very grateful. Kenya literally gave me purpose again. No, I'm t- I'm moving it on purpose. <laughs> they told me to lift it up. Um. My husband and I were talking, it's crazy that within the last 12 months, we lost a lot. We've been through a lot of transitions, been through a whole lot of pain. We've learned a lot. We lost people we thought were friends. I lost my mother, who was my very best friend. We lost our business. We lost businesses. We lost so much in the last 12 months that it was crazy that just over this weekend, I'm walking down the street, looking up at buildings, and I was so grateful. And I was just thinking a lot so much because I didn't think I would ever be happy again. And I'm happy. I didn't think I had purpose anymore. And then I'm looking at this today, and all of you guys are here. Most of you guys are here because of our (laughs) ministry. And I'm discovering a new purpose for life and my mom is proud she's with me and she's here so i thank you guys for coming out i cannot believe this brand new chapter i'm not in the kitchen i'm not cooking i'm not at the restaurant i'm not organizing we are just here with this one mission of of establishing a umma of expats so that you guys will never feel the pain that we felt the last 12 months. You won't feel alone. You won't feel like you're on a desert. 
You won't be lost. You won't feel taken advantage of. We are establishing a network where we have people in place to make this transition easy or easier. And nothing easy about Africa, <laughs> but easier. And so because of that, Residential Tourist presents Karibu Kenya. So that was, wait, let me stop here. That was, um, that was a very special moment, man. And I, <clears throat> I don't know, did you plan to do that? No. To speak? I yeah. thought you were going to speak with me. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hold the camera and speak at the same time. <laughs> so I had to, I had to choose my weapon. <laughs> so. Typically, I don't know, a lot of you guys followed us from the beginning. I know I'm, I'm usually very quiet, shy, listen, reserved. Listen, you know, you can, you can really begin to, 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 to miss them on that because you're not, you far from that. I said I was. Oh, okay. I, I missed the worst part. YouTube got me out of it. <laughs> YouTube broke her out of it. I mean, I always am the one that works behind the scenes. I'll handle all the, the paperwork, the finding, whatever. I'm the behind the scenes girl. You change the roles now. So <laughs> <laughs> it just happened that way. I'm like, you got it. You can, <laughs> your face is prettier than mine anyway. So go ahead and be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was our welcoming to Kenya. The lady you seen there, her name is Dr. Joyce. Man, Dr. Joyce, man, salute to Dr. Joyce. I don't know if she's watching right now, but I'm gonna tell you, that's my sister there, man. I love that sister. <laughs> yeah, she came from the channel. She seen us when we were in Rwanda and she said she seen pain in our faces and she realized that we haven't had a proper introduction to Africa. Let me tell it. So here we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the kitchen. <laughs> so. So Dr. Joyce, she um, made herself she she made herself available to us even before we came to Kenya, um, and it's interesting how and even I don't know if my wife said it either on the the, the video or she said it while we were here. However, what's been interesting is that you know things have been pretty much you know by God's grace lining up individuals who are willing to support who are wanting to support and dr joyce was one of those individuals she said the way that she she's not a youtube like person watching youtube she, that's not really her thing she pretty much uses it from my understanding as she was telling me that you know, she's looking for information okay let me go to youtube not like many of us do or at least got started in doing it. and so she she said she doesn't even know she was looking for something completely not even relevant to what we do as far as our content is concerned. Totally, as she said, somehow it came up, we came up and she said, let me take a look at it. Let me listen to them. And from that moment, she was, she was, she was connected. She was connected. And as she would, on occasion, she would listen to us and see our videos she realized pretty much from me more, more than anything the i don't want i would say the some of the concerns that i was that i had that i was experiencing being in africa you all know i've shared it you know you've heard it and but for her it became these are not her exact words but for her it became like a mission because she, it, she, she listened and she realized that we had not been given a proper introduction of Africa or of Kenya, because she's Kenyan. But at the time we were in Rwanda and it became her, her mission. So she availed herself to, to us and she, uh, we, had, we were supposed to connect like months and months and months ago. And it just never materialized. It, it was even before we even knew we were going to come to Kenya and live here. And she's an ambassador for the historical site here in Kenya, mm -hmm. where the first earliest remains are, where they where, where they found the earliest remains of humans, of, of Black people, period. Mm -hmm. um, so she's, she's actual um, curator there at the museum. She was like, I'll take care of it. Pay for your whole family to come. I just want you to see it. Well, that's when I got sick with the bacterial infection and we didn't make it. 
So she was determined when I reached out to her this time, she was like, y'all come on, I'm gonna take care of it, make sure everything is set up. And our journey after the event, which was on Monday, came from her vision of going to see this part of Kenya, the, the realness, the rawness, the authentic part, untouched part of Kenya, um, Lake Magadi, where at certain times of the year, the water turns pink because of the salt alkalining in the water. Uh, there's pink flamingos everywhere, everywhere there. Um, and I, I gotta share this one part. <laughs> the most, it's not the most amazing part, I promise. But for me, we're standing there around the big old willow tree and I see thousands of baboons running up the hill. And I'm like, wait, is that a monkey? <laughs> oh my God. He just totally crowned the event of the spotting of the migration of the baboons. They were fighting and everything, but I was excited. So we're going to show you more, uh, at least a preview of yeah, what you, we- you, you like on fast forward here. Okay, slow it down. <laughs> She's like, I can't catch up. You like- <laughs> We're going to slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. So, uh, so what did you just say? Hey, Brother Collins on. Brother Collins, salute. Brother Collins. Brother oh, Collins, you got to come over here for the next event next month. People want to hey, meet you. there he is. All right. Um, so, listen. So, the, okay. So, the facility, we were way ahead, right? Because it's, it was just so much in a short period of time that we're still very full. We're very full. Uh, the actual meet and greet affair, because of course, you know, Dr. Joyce, she was a, a very integral part. And um, there were a lot of, well, I won't say a lot, but there were individuals representing different corporate entities that were able to address and to provide some information. Because again, you know, we don't, we don't want to just bring an individual <coughs> to the gathering and assemble and not take advantage of the space and the time that we have together because we're all here really pretty much for the same purpose and reason. So let's make sure we, you know, we don't have to beat people over the head or be labor points, but we have to balance it out. We yeah. get to know one another. Make we sure meet, you leave with something. Leave with some substance, right? So that's how we, we, we planned it, strategize it, and set it out to be, to have that balance. You know, you, 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 you're here, you're looking at someone that's here for the first time. They're looking at you. You're here for the first time. You know, that level of comfort that will help you to propel forward, you know, um, means a lot. It means, it means a lot. And we wanted to set the, set the foundation, the stage with that. But these individuals are looking to, like us and other people who have already been here for years and years and years are looking to do just that, be mm -hmm. here for years and years mm -hmm. and years. And why reinvent the wheel? Why if, you know, yeah. if we made an error here, or, but I got some information that for someone else that don't have to make the same mistake, why not make that available mm -hmm. without them having to actually dig and search and grind to find a note, make it the first thing that they know mm -hmm. so that they don't have to worry about at least that. So a couple people came directly from the, from the airport within days to this event. So imagine the first, introduction to Kenya really and they're walking down this big beautiful um, wellness center and they're hearing the sounds of the drums <coughs> from the local from local uh, dancers the cultural sounds of the drums mm -hmm. and then mama Joyce is standing there and she's welcoming people home Karibu Kenya Karibu Kenya she's an authentic Kenyan ambassador really because this she is got what some she does. she's very she humble do. but I know she got some weight she, <laughs> she got some weight and it, it, what's exciting and what's unique everyone is that in this journey it feels like divinely guided the god is sending the people divinely to us that can help us in this mission and each person comes with some weight whether it's knowledge whether it's some kind of um connection to people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to big people, to people that have the power and the ability to make some things happen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the team that we're working with, we don't even get a chance to just say it. It's like they say it before us and we're like, oh, okay, 
I didn't even know about that. I didn't even think mm -hmm. about that. It's true. <laughs> and let me tell you a lot of, you know what's interesting? A lot of times with, with that point you said, if you get, listen, if you get a good driver, when I say good, I don't mean he can drive, you know, the speed limit and stuff like that. And But I'm talking about a good driver that he is a part of that network. He knows the right person, the mm -hmm. right places, mm -hmm. the right so forth and so on. And no, 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 I got you. Don't worry about that. Listen, you go over here, I, you get a bit, a bit, a, a bigger bang or a better bang for your buck. And he will not just send you out. He will say, hold on. No, they're trying to, they're trying to take, no, no, no. He'll step in. Yeah, and make we, sure we've had drivers fight for us here yeah. in Rhonda. They right, will fight right. for you, negotiate. <laughs> so, Emmy, ready to go to blows for us. <laughs> so, so, my point is, your networking yeah. is not, it, it's, it's <coughs> I don't mean to put it like this, it's from here, low, in between, and high. It, it can come from any yeah. angle. Uh, just, just pay attention and just be, um, you know, ready to receive what's right in front of us. Gmo, we do uh, Zelle and Apple Pay as well as the PayPal. Zelle and Apple Pay and actually put the information, it should be pinned in the group chat. Thank you. Um, thank you for the wisdom. You got the dream team. I feel like it, because I be dreaming. I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> y'all got it? Y'all know more than us. We don't know. We just sitting here riding this wave, <coughs> trying to figure out everything. And they just, boom, boom, boom. I think we should do this. I think we should do that. I know this person. but. And I'll just say something funny. I'll say, do you know someone in that department? Yes. A dealer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm telling you, life is just different here. The, I, the, what, are, the, what do you worry about on the continent while you're here? What, like, what, what do you... Me? Yeah. What do you worry about? Do you worry about anything? I'm good. I'm in Nairobi, man. Nairobi, I'm going to tell you, listen. I was earlier today, as I was, you know, preparing everything, I kind of got sidetracked, but not in a bad way. But this, it's crazy. It's, it's like, I feel like, I feel like I'm back in Atlanta on a, you know, to the 10th power, really, because I was, I couldn't stop. I was on my phone device and I don't even know how I got to where I got to. And it kept leading me to all kind of different things that's happening in Nairobi, film screenings of independent filmmakers <coughs> and virtual reality, you know, uh, places for children and all these different things for children to the do. Live jazz. Live jazz. They got, I mean, it, it theater, just, plays live up. theater. I mean, it's just crazy. It's like, it, I, and I, it wouldn't stop. I had to literally like, okay, let me refocus, get back on track. But it's so much available. There's so much going on that's how it was in atlanta any mm -hmm. day of the week in atlanta i don't care what your element is mm -hmm. or what your element you was, can find something you'll find something any given and it seems to be that same way here in nairobi so this is the thing right i can't wait to travel because now my new my new thing is i'm trying to prove that there is a city in the world that i would like better than nairobi because i can't imagine it. yeah man I so far listen Listen, so far, Nairobi's, I, we only, we hadn't really been to many places, but <laughs> on the continent, but so far, Nairobi is, is, is top notch, it's, it's number one, it <laughs> it's number one, so, so anyway, so you got some, so, uh, uh Natasha, and Natasha, somebody was bothering us, and again, you late, Sister Tasha, she on Ronda time, from. she on Ronda time, <laughs> she was blaming it on the babies, <laughs> Natasha, Sister Cheryl got. So we want to just show you some highlights of, of the event, so we can talk about sure, it. It's just some pictures here. We didn't. We don't listen. I don't. I don't want to provide you with too much because y'all need to come back and tune in when I drop it on the uh, during the week. I don't want you to say, "Oh, you saw it already." No, 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 no. I put it together so you can really take your time. You can look at it. You can see it and, and take it all in. Because I'm gonna tell you, you know. It was a, it was through and through. It was very moving and very, very spiritual and very emotional. It was, man, I'm telling you, words are not satisfactory. So let me just show you this uh, here. 
Um, you see, I'm weird. all excited. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Her, her leg is Show shit. it. Show the video. You can't see. <laughs> Show it. Come on. It's just a it's just a picture slide. That's all it is. Show the PowerPoint, Maestro. <laughs> So just just some pictures that we were able to capture, you know, during the course of the weekend, <clears throat> and you know, I you know, I gotta say, and I, I sat back and I thought about it because it was like, man, I just felt really, I was happy not just for myself, you know, I was just happy, just like happy, because I could see and feel the happiness from everyone and everybody, you know. And of course, my mother, man, it was just so good to see, you know, her so happy. And she felt like she was around family, you know, and she was just in her in her element, man. And it was just a, it was beautiful. It was a blessing. And we, we were at the uh, uh, Magadi, Lake Magadi, standing there. And I realized cause they did a whole naming ceremony and everything. I'm telling you, this naming ceremony was like none other. I got real blubbery. I'm gonna I show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all see it. Not today, but y'all see it in the video. I got real blub. I mean, I like un like uncontrollably like blubbery with this with here because it, it really did. It, it was extremely meaningful, and it was just <clears> crazy. But you know, to have that experience, you know, with my family, with my wife, with my granddaughter, with my niece, with my mother. You understand? We all are partaking in this ceremonial, authentic ceremonial mm -hmm. uh, moment, right? And now I, we've seen Massa. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to dig on nobody. We've seen Massa in Tanzania. We've seen Massa in, in in Mombasa, all on the beach. This was cool. <laughs> in Rwanda too. They in Rwanda, we've seen them. But listen. This the past weekend, we seen the uh, the real. These were like, I'm not saying that the others are fake, but y'all get me. These were real <laughs> Maasai, and I mean, it was so. But look, you know why? Huh? Everywhere we go and they come up, I always challenge them. I say, well, let me see you do that the, the jump thing, and they're like, oh no, especially when they're real young. No, I I can't. I really I can't. <laughs> I said, okay, well we'll do the thing. And make that sound from the throat, and they just laugh. They can't do it. When I say these these people, these Maasai, they got information, and it was on. I was like, okay. And the ladies was there with the neck thing going up and down. I was like, I don't need the neck it, thing. I can I can do that. I mean, it's, it was just wow. And the, yeah. In the in the in the the, the 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 it's not the singing, but the sound it's that a, they mm -hmm. make. It's uh -huh. just. Uh -huh. The vib it's the vibration of it. It's just man, it was just really crazy. So it was just But that's what we come for. We we want to see. Remember when we first came, I was like, I don't see the culture. I see everything else as magnificent, but I couldn't find the culture. That was like the first introduction, like like Mama, like uh Miss Dr. Joyce Dr. wanted Joyce. it. The introduction was to feel the authenticity <laughs> of Kenya. Yeah, and 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 that did it. But what you know what I was proud about with that video, 
every person that you've seen in that video came from y'all. They're all subscribers. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, I cannot believe that you guys came, support our cause, support us. And we know you, we, we got eyes on you, we're meeting you, like y'all family for real. And, and we were able to make you feel like this is a community here. Right. And we're right. going to build on this thing and keep building on this thing so that every time you, we, we meet up, we know everybody by name. And I'm horrible with it, but I know, I know everybody. Watch out now. <laughs> Some of y'all be changing the names up on me it. mid. You know, <laughs> soon as you I learn, you just switch the name. You know. Oh, Tony Africa's on. Yeah, Bobo, um, Brother Tony. Listen, Brother Tony. What, be listen. He's, he's the silent contributor. No, listen. This what I'm saying is that I can never disassociate Kenya from Brother Tony <laughs> because Brother Tony told us. He told us. I say it all the time. I always would say it, and I'm indebted and grateful to the brother because even though I didn't respond to what he was telling us at that time, well, it was we came on it was it was time. a seed he put there. He was like he push it. He was like, listen, I'm telling you. I'm just telling you, <laughs> you want to check out Nairobi, you not you won't regret it. And then when that time came for that seed to germinate, all you see is flowers and plants now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm grateful. <coughs> so Brother Tony, salute. That's my man. <laughs> yeah, and, and it is amazing because of course we met in Rwanda at Kawa Cafe. I don't know if he was watching us at that time or not. Um, but he has helped us in this journey like whatever you need he, he offered to teach him how to drive he but when we were in Rhonda going through what we were going through he reached out and was like yo i got a bike over there if you guys yeah, need man. it, it was... rent it out make some money off of it like he don't ask for nothing he's just like i want y'all to succeed and for those type of people that just pour into us and pour love like that i'm just so forever grateful and indebted right. to them because absolutely it, it's those things that matter you but, know what i mean it's those things that right that, that helps you in those moments where you're trying to give up you ready to quit you, you feel like the world hates you right now he reached out and was like i got y'all come on come on and so that's right. i'm grateful for you brother tony i don't want to i know you're sitting there like oh my god <laughs> and he looks good y'all but everybody was concerned about him and this no, scared, he, his heart attack scared. Man, but Tony's a soldier. He he good. Yeah, he looks good. His <laughs> skin good. looks good. He looks healthier than he yeah. did before. His so, spirit is good. Yeah. Whatever that scare was that the God had to put you under, it worked because you look really healthy. So yeah, um, so that but that's just the type of spirit and energy that I think will help us all to be successful. And you know, when for us, when we receive that, you know, we try to give it, but when we receive it, it just intensifies it more like yeah you know what let's continue to pay it forward let's just keep paying it forward whatever and however we can just just keep paying it forward and it'll just just circulate and circulate and man it'll just be a good experience I'm, I'm gonna put this here uh listen sister sister natasha please give mama a big old hug for us <laughs> oh, her mom was funny yeah we love mama please give a big old big old, big old big old hug uh and uh, tell her thank you so much because we love her so much as well. And uh, man, Co this is it's refreshing to know. College man spot. Does homecoming come with some land, my sister and brother? Uh, it's land available. It ain't free, but it's land available. But imagine, imagine though, and, and I, I know, you know, Kia and some other people are working on trying to make it a little easier for expats to acquire land. So, so land ain't free nowhere in the world, no, no matter who you are. That's not going to happen. We might as well get that whole thought process up. Right. Well, but, here, here's the thing, though. Here's so in, now that you bring that up, in the over in the in the uh, Magadi area, in the Great Rift Valley area, over going toward the Mara, there's land that is. This is. I mean, we're going to have to do a segment on this because. You know, white folks are coming here, man, and they're buying up land. And this is how There's it goes no down. There's no restriction in here. No. Foreigners can come. If you get your KRA plan, you can buy land. You can buy as much as you want. This is how this is how it goes down. They come. They go on a safari tour. They go. They leave Nairobi. And they go out great, the Great Rift Valley area. 
and it's nothing but just land, 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 right? All land. And this is what happens. It's very simple. They just ask a question. Hey, is somebody selling land out here? And that's how it starts. They inquire because even like Edwin was telling us, the is like, you don't really find too much where they are just, you know, telling you like, yeah, I got land, I got land. No, you have to have that inquisitive, you know, spirit to say, hey, man, let me just kind of open myself up. And let's see. And the land out that way is a lot cheaper. Than it is, of course, if you're, you know, trying to buy land in Nairobi, it's going to be a lot more expensive, but it's a lot more, um, it, you know, a lot more cheaper, a lot more, I, I don't know, I want to say affordable, but just cheaper. And so, and, and they sell by acres. So now, so that's the amazing part, not small little plots. I'm going to put it out in acres. I'm going to put it out here. And we saw some land and we want to help this land to become purchased. This is a hundred acres of land. A hundred acres of land. And we walked it. We're going to do, do a video. On the yeah, show we're going to do a, we have the video. We'll yeah. put it up this all this week. hundred acres of land that if we put our thinking caps on, and it's a clean slate. It's not no secondhand middleman or middle one, enough. We, the person who owns it, owns it was right there. She walked us from one end to the other, from one side to the other. It's, this land is massive. It is incredible. And Traverse has already did the search on the land. He's already... Traveda. Tra- <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> That's another one. Though. Traveda. They have already did the search on the land, has already done the deeds, title search. Um, they, they, they have a, a legal team that makes sure that the owner is the original owner. And here is a little tricky. You got to keep researching who the first owner was and make sure there's no liens and so forth on the land. They've done all of that. But um, it's it's a good investment. And it's something like for us, we never think about coming together as a group and in investing in, in something like this. So you got So we'll talk about that more when we, we have that to. up. We have to because we have to begin to, I guess, I don't know, we're leading in the direction where hopefully, hopefully setting the stage because with the relocation services, we go to these apart these uh these uh, uh apartment buildings, and we've gone to so many. We even based on the style and the format and the layout, we know which which ethnic group owns it. Is it right Chinese, the, the Somalians, the Indians, you know, which are the main ones. But it's like, well, wait a minute though. Like, where are the black developers? Where are the black developers? If I mean, this and they're they're throwing these things up like overnight. Everywhere you go, Killer Leshwa, so Killer Monty, Westlands, Parkland, wherever, you're going to see some, I mean, so many just going on. You go to an apartment looking for a unit, and then you look in the office, they have the model for the next one that's going yeah. to be made or and, being and, made. And you have the opportunity to rent at this place and buy off, off, plan, plan, yeah. off planning at the other spot. But um, Nadej Kerr, um, email at a dealer's relocation services at gmail.com and we can get you one for the consultation. Um, uh, Nasir said, isn't residential and commercial land leasehold for foreigners in Kenya? So their leasehold is a little different. Their leasehold, like most places, is 99 <laughs> years, but they offer you the opportunity to renew it for another 99 years, which means you can arrange it and put it in the contract. Well, but I'm passing this down to my child and they have the option, whatever the amount of years is left on it, to <coughs> renew it for another 99 years. So it'll be about four generations down that you would lose, or maybe three to four generations down that the land won't, that you'll lose the land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but by that time, stuff changes, land law changes every year, every six months. So, but right now, leasehold isn't a bad thing here because not every country offers you a renewal at the end of that 99 years. Most of it is, it reverts right back to the country or right back to a local or the government of that mm-hmm. area or the chief. But here, you can renew. And I've never heard that before. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so where, did we get off track? And the, Did we show the, the video? We showed it. Oh, so what I wanted to talk about was some of the things that I learned personally last weekend. And one of the things we've actually talked about here was uh, was about children, right? 
how we raise children differently in the states. We have to raise them a certain way in order to be productive productive people in the society, or to be protected, to uh, stay under the radar, to be safe. We, we, we have to put all these restrictions on our babies. But here, as you guys seen in the pictures that was taken of the baby sitting on top of the drums, they were performing and the baby goes out and of course, mom and dad about to take off to go get the baby. And the elder, Mama Joyce says, no, no, leave the child. The child is expressing her spirit mm -hmm. and she might be connected to that drum or some kind of way, or that might be what her passion is, or that might be where the spirit is leading her. And they were like, leave her alone. And the baby went over there and the baby was like, hey, I, the baby's fearless anyway. But we were standing there and we were all talking about this. It, it blew us away. Like, wait a minute, we need to be get this child, there's people trying to perform, nobody, mm -mm, that's not how they are. No, they, 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 I just saw they incorporated her in the performance. They just, they just let it be. And it's just a beautiful thing. Trina Weathersby, you can get land under, depending on the area, under 4,000. Uh, if it's a prime area, about 10,000 an acre. Um, if it's, it just depends. And again, there's no, really, there's no market value research. There's no market value here. It's owner value. So you might have an owner that's like, I just want to get out. So let me sell this and let me go buy a condo. There's owners that know the value of what they have and they know that and they have a projection and they can see what's going to happen in the next couple of years. Oh, they're going to charge you whatever rate they feel is right. And then you got owners that's like, um, I don't really care about this. This was, I inherited this. I'd rather have some money. I'm tired of tilling this land. So you really, it depends on where you go, who you know. Um, everything's negotiable. So whatever you're negotiating. Like literally, that's like, they expect you to negotiate. We just learned that. I did anyway. <laughs> They're like, they were like, well, why didn't, if, they didn't negotiate with. It's they, funny. They really expect you to negotiate. This, this is like written in stone that we didn't know. <laughs> but now we know. So. Oh, brother Andre's in the building. Brother Dre, salute. <laughs> are you still in Nairobi? Or are you back in Mombasa, sir? <laughs> We out here. We out here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you you oh, really pretty great. much everything here in the and like we at the event when we had our we did a recap the other day and we were like yeah we gotta negotiate on some of these prices and we didn't negotiate the first time and I'm looking like but you a local why you didn't negotiate <laughs> you didn't know because I knew to do that but hey everything is negotiable here so you pretty much. Go for it. You Shoot do. your shot and see what happens. See, yeah, you, I mean, you know, you can't lose. Yeah, you, you, you really say something lose. and they're gonna come back, and you be like, hmm. So you know, we really like. I mean, the whole week, the whole weekend was great, man. We really, the the, the main event, of course, was uh, the the meet and greet. You know, at the facility. Let's let's just just talk about that facility for a quick second. In Tim Sadai, it's a wellness sanctuary, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> it is absolutely, you know, breathtaking. Uh, maybe that's not the right word because it actually is. It, it it gives you life just stepping on the grounds. I mean, you really just feel a certain uh, uh, presence, a serene, a serenity, and it. Oh, they want to know who the photographer was. It was an amazing photographer, oh, too. Oh, that be L. Douglas. They came all the way from the States. <laughs> World renowned. That would be me. L. Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the ground is, so if you're in, if you're in uh, Nairobi, it's in Karen, in Tim Sadai, which interestingly enough is a Ma 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 Maasai name. Yeah. Uh, and it is definitely, a, 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 we highly recommend, you can use it as a staycation. You can, if you're traveling, they have a beautiful, uh, if you have a big family that's coming or something like that, or you have a group that's here, whatever the case, we got this beautiful uh, house that is incredible. But if it's oh, just you and your- The house they got, it's like one of those houses that you used to see back when, what was it uh, on VH, on the MTV crib? No. Um, where they would get a group of people together and they would stay at this amazing house and they'd be from different places 
Real world? Real world. It's like one of those real world houses. It's better than that. Each room, you, you ain't even been in it. Each room is picture, totally different I mean. than the next. It's uniquely designed and it's amazing. Like, oh my gosh. She's saying break the cycle of our ignorance. Let me tell you about this apartment that I seen last week. Um, I'll, I'll ask her if she wants anybody and I know that she's coming because she's one of our latest clients. Uh -huh. But we were showing them these apartments. This is called um, which one? The, down the street. Marquis. The Marquis. So it's supposed to be the guy thinks is an American. Owned. This joint is right around the corner. Had we had known. No, no, no. Because <laughs> they're smaller. Oh, yeah, it costs too the much unit more. is small. <laughs> but these apartments, when I'm talking about infinity pool, <clears throat> movie theater in the doggone apartment, art cafe in the doggone apartment. These are in the building, apartment building. Um, when you when you go in. The elevator is playing Kenny G. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't this miss, is miss me with Kenny G. That's this like is good. Vanilla ice. Of, oh my god. Jazz. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> apartments mind blowing will blow you away for a third of what you would pay in the states. Now our friend here, he told us stop stop comparing it to the states because if you compare it to Kenyan prices, then you say that's too much. I don't know how to do that because I remember my rent in the states, but uh. Man, so the apartment we got. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Uh, Keep flowing. That was some dumb stuff. Yeah. So the apartment we got um, from for our client, high end. Like they put me through the ringer to even get get her approved, which is weird because they don't normally do all of that. <coughs> but you go into this apartment. You go to one floor. And then you, which is take the elevator into this apartment to this to the third floor. You gotta see the security to get go any further than that. And then there's a separate elevator that take you up to the residential area. But on her floor, y'all, an Olympic size swimming pool that's heated and indoors. What? What? <clears throat> I can't even understand. I'm like. Oh, I'll be over here all the time. Got their own little cafe they're developing over there as well. And you're going into the secure part, going up into the apartment. But did you say it was art cafe? Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, what? So th th to me, that's brilliant. It's like a Starbucks. It's brilliant. It's the art cafe here in, in Nairobi is like Starbucks in the States. It's like everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, you see art cafe or Java House. But it was brilliant. So you have a development, right? And here you are a company, you franchise or whatever. I would have never, me personally, I would never thought they'll say, okay, instead of putting just a regular coffee lounge, okay, let's, let's rent this space out. <laughs> they got the whole right cafe. Here, the whole cafe in the apartment uh, 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 building. So coming and going. <laughs> Man, three bedrooms. Then their SQ room, which is like for the staff quarters, is big enough to be a, a fourth bedroom, an office, whatever you want to make it. The eighth floor or 10th floor, I forgot which floor it is. But when you come up, all you see is the backdrop of the city. No, it's the, that part is the quiet part of the city, the trees, and it's just so high up. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and I'm talking about under thousand dollars under and we took that building in the states when one 90 percent of us wouldn't even qualify to go in it and at least three to four thousand a month at least at least these this talking about listen you would never even expect people that come here <laughs> they'd be looking around like where am i because i was supposed to be getting chased by the lions and oh, we did see a snake coming home the other way. My bitch was. I didn't a, see it. He, the guy was going to run over a red snake, but we were in the wilderness. But um, we, we thinking you coming into some rawness when you come into Africa. Kenya says, "Ha, this is the new Africa," and it's not all westernized because that's that was a um um did they say a Turkish Turkish builders over here? You got Turkish builders. You got Somalians. I really, really love Somalian apartments. They're very detailed, very be like artistic, like the walls be having artistic framing on it. I love Somalian apartments. 
um, the Chinese apartments, China, no, what Chinese apartments do, it's like an iPhone. They compact it, make it very, very smart. Like you can't come in unless you, some of them facial recognition, some of them thumbprints, very, very smart. You, 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 uh, you, a keyless entry, they use steel doors, like nobody's kicking in their doors. You forget about it. But the apartments are like under 800 square feet for two bedrooms. It's like, really it's small. Like, it's like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you'd be confused. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. They'll have amazing views. Now the amenities be top notch, rooftop, soccer soccer fields um big giant indoor play areas look like chuck e cheese over there um it's true it is true and then they have lounge areas all around in their apartments <laughs> where you can go and set up computers and just like, share office spaces they do all that smart stuff and you're living they're like you, sh you shouldn't be indoors too long you can just barely get a queen size bed in the bedroom <laughs> but the rent again uh Two bedrooms in that price range under 850. And you get all of that stuff. And it's like, what? Every day I'm just like, what? 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 Because stuff just be blowing me away. Um <coughs> excuse me. So G Mo said, what organizations or groups are established to buy land and collectively in Kenya? So um, we'll have to, what we'll have to do is we'll have to um let me do a focus point on a lot of this stuff here. We'll get Kia on. Get Kia yeah. on here. Because she, um, she's already done all that research. She has, yeah. Um, us personally, I don't want to put my hands in the land anymore. So we're going to pass it on to people that's actually, that's their field. That's what they're, and then uh, maybe when Kanaya comes, she's into uh, real estate as well. If she want to partner up or she want to do it herself. She said something. it. She said this is one of her things that she wants to do when she gets here. Yeah. She wants to make sure. And I love it. I yeah. Because land is very popular. It's very easy to get. Um, you just have to have. And if you use Trevita, he already has the lawyers and the legal team in place to make sure everything is done um, up and up. So we, we definitely will put you in the right hands when that time comes. So... Are we are we getting off track here? What what's the track? <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just talking. Tell me to stop talking, y'all, because you know I'm normally very. It's normally well, him. Listen, I'm listen, it's normally him, but he just don't true. want to start coughing, so he lets me talk. Don't believe the hype. I'm telling you, y'all go for the open. I'm not quiet. <laughs> Natasha, I'm quiet, right? Andre, I'm quiet, right? Come on, just the talker speak, right speak here. Speak the truth. Shame the devil. They know. They gonna tell you. <laughs> They're going to tell you. Anyway, um, it was a great time we had. I, I, I really enjoy every single person that um, I met. Excuse me, something I met and had known already, we had known already. But it's really, it was crazy because it's like everybody was communicating like they everybody knew everybody. Go at the event? At the event and then beyond, it's everybody. But I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, it was like, yo, hey. Man, hugs, hugs, kisses, hugs, and just just love, just pure, genuine love. You know, just talking. I just said, heck no. Heck no, what? I'm not quiet. I told you. I'm telling you. Thank you, Natasha, for that conversation. Isn't this a holiday? You lie. <laughs> you gonna lie on the holiday? What's the holiday? Gonna tell lies on the holiday. So, but so here's. Let me tell you what happened. I think I don't, this wasn't even planned. It was strictly spontaneous. You know, we okay. with prior to s Sunday. I think it was on a Friday or th what it was on a Friday or Thursday or whatever. We we're like, you know what? What can we do? We want to take the family, just do something. So we said, you know, let's just go bowling, right? Let's just do a bowl. We did it before. We loved it. We had a good time. Just get out. Then it, was, it occurred to us like, well, let's just put it out there. Let's just, just put it out. Just like say, listen, we're going bowling. We want the family, meet us at such and such. And the response was incredible. Like, yeah, we're going we to meet you there. What time? What time? We're going to meet mm -hmm. you there. We went bowling, had a great time. I need. I wish I was prepared to show you, but mm. I had the top score. I had the printout of the top score. My my our t my team won. <laughs> my team won. My team won. Uh, shout out to Bruce. Shout out. Uh, just shout out to Aisha. <laughs> uh so anyway we had a great time but shout out to the dj who kept it he realized we was from the states when i'm talking about flashback 90s i couldn't even focus 
I was thinking my dance on the whole time. <laughs> I was like, Candy Grain, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, the so the DJ was with the uh he was the DJ. He was lit. He was the he was the DJ. So but that was good. It was uh, afterwards we sat down and we, yeah, we had dinner we, together, we had dinner together talked. talked and built and oh man, it was just really beautiful. And again, it wasn't planned, you know, but I think that that had a, you know, that had some bearing that too. Set the, that set the pace, but it shows that expats want to connect. There was a sister that I met way in Mombasa, the hairdressers. Um, and we were supposed to meet up a little later because she has a son as well. And we never did. And she, we both realized around the same time that it was time to go to Nairobi. So she's been here for a couple, about two months as well. But we finally got to connect. And um, <clears throat> she did, everybody just made her feel welcome. Just talking to everyone. I mean, we had a good time. A good time. The Shout whole out. weekend. Hebrew Shemites, thank you so much. Shout out to you, brother or sister. I'm really not sure to be honest with you, but always good to see you in the place. Really appreciate it. So we, yep, 90s music, Monica, when he said, Monica, Brandy, it was, he was playing it all. <laughs> I'm like, you won't miss nothing when you come to Kenya. I'm telling you. You really won't. And, and you can, and it's like, you can do that. You can do, you can like, just like, you know what? I feel like I want to, I want to hear, hear some jazz. I'm going to just go, but you know what? I don't want to roll by myself. Hey, let me just put it out there. And you know, you can just roll. You can just meet up and, and whatever. And I'm like, man, that's really a good thing. And a lot, not you know what? A high percentage of things to do is always something for the children. Yeah, they don't miss. Even with the event Sunday, they had bouncy, bouncy houses, houses out there. Um, they had a trampoline park. I, I don't know. They were supposed to have face painting. I'm not sure. But they have everything out there. They never forget the children. They never forget the children. Never forget the. I had a brother. Just as I digress for a quick second, I had a brother back in the states. Uh, good brother, brother Jeffrey. If you listen to the you on, shout out to you, salute. And uh, he had been watching and following us, and he made a comment the other day. He was like, "Listen, I love to come to Kenya, but I gotta go where they can do some skating." I said, "Brother, man, let me show you." I had to show him when we went to the skating rink. And this skating rink here in Nairobi is it's super size. It's super size. Everything man. here is super size. It's I'm like, crazy. If that's all that's gonna keep you away, <laughs> go and pack your bags. <laughs> I'm telling you, the skate, and I showed it to him. He was like, yo, this is this is crazy. So it it it, it sounds we, we make we make light of it, we joke, but it's so important because it it knocks out in our brains the mis conception and misperception that we have of being on the continent that you can live a a, a fairly stress-free life with mm -hmm. all of all of that nonsense but still enjoy the same things that you would want to enjoy what that you know in the states or you can just pull back all together and just really have that whole tourist effect and feel of living going to mombasa and just chill and just be like, listen, I'm just in complete chill mode. I'm good. All of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. So we like to really emphasize and, and share our passion about it. Like, like when people come, now y'all know before people would come and be like, do y'all need anything? And I had my list of cereal <laughs> I needed, the candy I needed, some seasoning I needed. I had this whole list. Now people say, do y'all need anything? And I'm like, Kenya has everything. I don't. I don't know what I could need. I need some shoes. Kenya don't have shoes for the long feet woman. Besides mm -hmm. that, she was trying to get some Chick Fil A. Somebody bring some Chick Fil A <laughs> from oh, no. the states. Yeah, I could still do that. No, don't do that. that. Don't mess around. Chick Fil A or root beer or turkey bacon. Oh my, turkey bacon. There you can go. Somebody bring me <laughs> turkey bacon. I'm, I'm eating beef bacon these days. Uh, somebody can bring me some turkey bacon. Yes, yes, mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. So it was all love. So you know, I guess that for me the the i don't know the greatest highlight for me was going to the great river valley being with the maasai uh tribe and oh, the, we gotta go there Papsy. The, the the naming ceremony and it was so special man it was just like so man i can't even put words and you're gonna have to see it y'all see it this week it's already set, ready to go, you know, it's scheduled to be able to view it. But 
It was just so special. And, you know, Dr. Joyce really accomplished for me what she set out for because it did it for me. I thought, you know, I, I talk about it, Nairobi saved me, you know, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm not realizing I'm, I'm really on the surface with things. That really took it right to the core of it, right to the root, man. And it, I get emotional, man, even just <coughs> thinking about it. And so it was a phenomenal experience through and through the ride there, the baboons, the baboon migration that took place. <laughs> You know, being among, you know, familiar, you know, energy and, and, and you know, just driving and riding. Yeah, you, you know, know. Those, those car rides will, will bind you. Yeah, you know, and it was just a beautiful thing, man. And um, it's incredible. So we really had a, a enjoyable time. And this is our, our hope and our aim really is for, for any, any expat, any diaspora that's coming, they have to have that experience. They gotta, they gotta do it. So talk about that. But <laughs> your face. So we we, 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 we got a lot of people coming in in April for some reason, y'all. Y'all coming, coming? I don't know. Y'all coming in April? Y'all sending me the emails. I'm coming. I'm coming. So we were like, all right, they're coming in April. We gotta do this again. We gotta do it again. We, we have gotta to do it even bigger, make it more impactful. But um, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what the, I'm gonna tell you what the map, because the chief of the tribe was with us all the way. He escorted us, he, you know, toured us and everything along with Dr. Joyce and the elders were there, the youth were there, but they said that in that particular region area, that's about, in population is about 6,000 Massa. And they said, that the ceremony that they that we were we were a part of, it's it's like it wasn't it's not hitting on nothing. They said they ideally mm -hmm. would like to be able to do it with all six thousand of the Maasai population in that area. Could you imagine that coming, being welcomed? Even if your ancestry line doesn't trace you here, it, it don't even matter. Just the fact that you're coming back to the continent. It, want to claim it as home and then you are received by 6,000 authentic <laughs> tribe. That's intimidating. That's, man, that would be, because just with what we had was, I'm telling you, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I was just so, so I can only imagine that. But who knows? I was excited because they were doing this. It was jamming, man. Mm -hmm. It was getting it. Mm -hmm. It was getting mm -hmm. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so beautiful too. They all look young. I mean, they had elders that looked like they was younger than me, <laughs> younger than me. So anyway, that was it. You know, that's. I mean, we can go on and on about it. You mm -hmm. know, it was so much. Uh, I just know Jackson telling stories talking about we got turkey bacon and Kenya too. Prove it. Okay, well, tell Prove us where, it. brother. Bring it to us. You said it. Uh, we said. What are you saying, Karen? He ain't saying no Karen. Oh, I, I, it did jump, so I must have missed it. Mm -mm. Show me some turkey bacon. It's over. I'm never going home. Well, West Coast Media Solutions, we are getting excited. Can't wait to see Kenya and meet you guys. We can't wait to meet y'all. We really can't, man. I'm telling you, I feel I felt like I was around family, man. I, I just really. Yeah, we I, felt like we have friends. <laughs> you know, it was really. We got friends now. Really good. And then our, our girls, they had a great time. Mm -hmm. And they had a good moms, like I said, moms had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. Just imagine giving your family the opportunity to have that kind of experience, even if it's just one time. But we, I was talking with my niece, was it my, yeah, yesterday. And we were just talking about all the things we've done since we've been on the continent. And I was like, y'all don't swim with sea turtles, <laughs> scuba dives in the Indian we Ocean. We never that. In the Indian Ocean. Y'all yeah, done did some... We, we done did some stuff and fed giraffes and, and went into the deserts and jumped into hot springs. and Yeah, we did the hot springs there too. Y'all see all of that. Yeah, yeah see we did the hot springs. Like, that joint was really do. hot. It was like, wait, you got to stick just one toe in first and kind of ease on in. That's how hot it was, for real. It was really, it was really that hot. Yep. So we we plan to uh, do this again. Oh, Brother Siddiqui, good to see you, brother. You missed it. We just went on. <laughs> 
Why you, why you was, didn't come this week? I was thinking weekend. about you earlier today, Brother Sadiq. I was really thinking about you, man. Uh, so good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. All right. You, you're going to come to the next one, right? I'll call you, brother. <laughs> so I, I don't have nothing else to say. My throat is itchy. <coughs> it's itchy. What well, about you? Yeah, it's a little itchy, but yeah, I think I think we I think that's a really about. We just wanted to really share our, our, our appreciation um, and our gratitude for being able to have uh, such an experience. Um, it's we, a blessing. We're grateful to we're grateful to Kenya. We're grateful for the Kenya people. We're grateful for those specific, you know, individuals Kenyan who are really able to see where our vision is. And able to meet us where we are, you know, and we're grateful for our expat diaspora family, man. I'm telling you, man, it's truly genuine love, man. Yeah. Truly, truly, truly genuine. You want to come man. and you want to connect. Connect first. Connecting is so important. Of course, you want to be able to connect, but but the Kenyan people, someone on another post said they were tired of me saying the locals, even though that's what they tell me they are. Well, <clears throat> the Kenyan people connect with the Kenyan people. But in order to survive, in order to build, in order to be successful, you have to connect with your own. You do. You, do. you have to unify. You have to do it because it's too much to know. And it's and, and here is not what you know, it's who you know. Because who you know knows how to do what you're thinking you're trying to do. It'll keep you from bumping your head over and over and over and over and over again and, and losing tons of money and lots of patience. And a whole bunch of frustration. Just come and connect. Just connect. Stop being afraid. I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself. I think I, you know, I, I, I'm gonna tell you, you know, after our experience, I'm not gonna get on it, but with Rhonda, it put, I mean, it took me so far away from, but I, I think by Allah's grace, I'm back to the point where now I, I can start, I can start making phone calls back to people that call me phone calls that I miss. <laughs> because he was like, I don't feel like talking. No, it's because I just was so, I, I was just so disconnected. I just, for now, I believe I'm reconnected. My energy, um, the, the, the whole vibe. You know, when I see we out here, it makes me, <laughs> it make, I feel good just by, you know what I mean? That's my brother, man. I know, I mean, he's just a beautiful, solid brother. I see Siddiqui when I see him pop. Doing I see, Garvey TV. I see, you know, when I see, it's just right, you know. And now I got, see Kanaya. She's yeah. about to be here. Liz gonna be here in a few months. I'm like, I'm gonna have some friends, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> when, when Natasha comes, that's why she ain't come yet because she knows she's gonna fall in love and not with me. Come on, Natasha. Yeah, come I know on, that's on. the problem. I got some friends, y'all. All right. So um, I think I think that is it. I think that's it. You know, for now. Um, I wanna I wanna be able to give a brief reminder. I hadn't done it since the first that we um, we are we we're trying to we're trying to spread ourselves out a little bit, you know. So um, we are on Instagram. So please, if you're on Instagram, we'd like for you know to follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, you know these different these social media outlets they have um, that the, the nature of them are different. The tones are different. So you can do some things on one that will work better than it would on another. Y'all know that without me saying it. So we just try to spread ourselves out a little bit. Um, a lot of the pictures that I that were taken are on there from over uh, this weekend. But I, I got my camera back. I'm, I'm telling you, I had my, I had my girl. You know, my camera is my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I I wasn't even I wasn't showing her no love or nothing. Oh, boo so now, <laughs> now I'm I'm all in. I'm looking to. I mean, I'm looking to take all kind of pictures, man. So, Instagram is is, is definitely the spot. And then we're also on Facebook as well. Uh, please, you know, if you're on Facebook, which I'm sure many of us are on Facebook, please follow us on, on, on Facebook as well. Haven't really been as active on there. Got to get my game up. And then, of course, for anyone for the relocation services. Uh, here is the email, a dealer's relocation services. Um, you have any, you know, questions or something you want to do a consult, just. Yeah, email me right there for a consultation. We start off with that and then we figure out what your needs are so we can get you in, get you to Kenya comfortably. Get you to Kenya very, very comfortably. Mm -hmm. And so one last thing, though, I got to remind you guys one last thing. 
please, please, please hit the like button. <laughs> One more time for the, for the people in the back. Please hit the like button. The share button. Um, and thank you guys, those that have sent some donations today. I'm seeing it uh, pop up in the PayPal. But again, we have Zelle at 470-429-9570. The same with the Apple Pay. And then you have your PayPal at Residential Tourist. And those that are local, if you want to send something on them to pay, so go ahead. That's grocery money right there. That's the <laughs> lights right there. 0798-519-626. I just learned it. Like she just learned it. You had it for like forever. That's all right. I'm proud. <laughs> I just learned that. Thank you. Well, family, thank you so much. You know, it's always a treat. I, I, I swear, I felt like it's been a long time. It was only just a week that we didn't really you know yeah see before. i was going live last week so that's why it's all blurry it's all looking crazy just yes. jumped on when you see that just know who i has, was trying to stay connected to my people you know who has the who has the uh filming device in there i was trying to be connected i'm all like showing y'all the grass i'm sorry <laughs> she hold it listen is, listen there was a there, i'm so upset about this i'm <laughs> gonna go into it she had the camera all wrong it was a good moment and she just had the camera. Oh, no, on. no, no. Oh, yeah. He gave it to nah, me and nah, said, here, nah. keep doing it. I just kept going. Listen, who don't look at the screen before they start I was camera? doing something, but I kept going. <laughs> Shoot. I was busy. All right. <laughs> anyway, family, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you all very much. We're grateful. We appreciate your viewership and your subscription. Uh, please, again, hit the like button. We are, we, would, we would be really grateful. And, uh, uh, tune in this week. We got some intimate conversation, pretty much more of the same, you know, from a personal standpoint of our experience. But then you'll uh, have some of the content of what we actually experienced uh, over this weekend. And then um, we'll move forward on some other stuff. And our condolences to you, doing Garvey, for the loss of your oh, well, I didn't your see loved that. one. That's why you had to leave. Oh, well, oh, brother, I didn't see that. Yeah, sorry. I know how that feels. I know it. Oh, brother. His yeah, mother-in-law passed. Brother, I'm very sorry to hear that, brother. I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was sincere, deepest condolences. You know, may Allah be pleased with her and will keep you and her family up, lifted up in prayer. I, I extend that to the, the community, the RT family. Please lift our brother up in prayer and his family. Uh, that you know he would give they be given comfort in the light of understanding. So uh, yeah, brother. Yeah, man. Sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that. dinner time, people. It's dinner time is about that almost that time. So all right. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day for those who is Easter Sunday. Hey, don't eat too many eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> who eats eggs on Easter? Jelly beans. Jelly beans, eggs. You know. Uh, <laughs> But nonetheless, no, just just a joke there. But for those who acknowledge Easter Sunday, respect to you and hope you enjoy in your 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 celebration, your acknowledgement. And uh, for those on this side of the town, this, the, the evening is curving downward. So uh, good night. <laughs> Peace and blessings. And thank you, whoever sent that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family.